ಕಂಸಚಾಣೂರಮರ್ಧನಂ ದೇವಕೀ ಪರಮಾನಂದಂ ದೇವಕೀ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಂದೇ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಂದೇ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ನಮೋಸ್ತು ವ್ಯಾಸ ವಿಶಾಲ ಬುದ್ಧೆ ನಮೋಸ್ತು ವ್ಯಾಸ ವಿಶಾಲ ಬುದ್ಧೆ ಪುಲಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ ಪತ್ರ ನೇತ್ರ ಪುಲ್ಲಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ ಪತ್ರ ನೇತ್ರ ಯೇನತ್ವಯ ಭಾರತ ತೈಲ ಪೂರ್ಣ ಯೇನತ್ವಯ ಭಾರತ ತೈಲ ಪೂರ್ಣ ಪ್ರಜ್ವಾಲಿತೋ ಜ್ಞಾನಮಯ ಪ್ರದೀಪ ಪ್ರಜ್ವಾಲಿತೋ ಜ್ಞಾನಮಯ ಪ್ರದೀಪ ಗುಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ನೂನ್ ಗುಡ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಗುಡ್ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವೇರ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಜಾಯ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಗೀತಾ ಸುಗೀತ ಕಿಮರ್ತ ಕಿಮನ್ಯ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ವಿಸ್ತರ ಯ ಪದ್ಮನಾಭಸ್ಯ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಮುಖ ಪದ್ಮ ವಿನಿಸೃತ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಗೀತಾ ಸುಗೀತ ಕಿಮರ್ತ ಕಿಮನ್ಯ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ವಿಸ್ತರ ವೆನ್ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತಾ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ನೀಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅದರ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಸ್ ಅದರ್ ವೇದಾಸ್ ಅದರ್ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ನೀಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಒನ್ ಯ ಪದ್ಮನಾಭಸ್ಯ ಸ್ವಯಂ ದಿಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಕಮೌಟ್ ಮುಖ ಪದ್ಮ ವಿನಿಸೃತ ದಿಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ವೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಮೌತ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಪದ್ಮನಾಭ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ದ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಮೌತ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ವೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಕಮೌಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ನೀಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿಂಗ್ ಎನಿ ಅದರ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಹೈಯೆಸ್ಟ್ Lord himself, himself has spoken about this one. What is the need of any other Shastras? This is the ultimate Shastra. Understand, understanding this one, all great Acharyas have commented on, they have made a commentary on volumes of commentaries on Bhagavad Gita. There is uh, so many commentaries are there. Everyone wants to pick up something from the ocean according to the capacity of their vessel. They picked up a bit and tried to share it with the community. And still nobody has found the depth of the ocean. Ocean of Bhagavad Gita. Everyone, accord, uh, they tried their best to dive deep into the Bhagavad Gita to pick up the message everyone has tried this uh, shloka uh, geeta sugeeta kimarta kima uh, that what is the need uh, kim anya uh, shastra vistaram pad ya padmanabhasya swayam mukha uh, padma vinisrita uh, mukha padma uh, it's a uh, mukha padma vinisr it has been come out, it has come out from the lord himself try to learn learn bhagavad gita and instead of learning so many texts when you learn this one by heart this one because it has come from the lord's mouth itself it's a message for all it is not a message for only for the educated people or only people who are studying in the gurukula or only for the sanskrit pandits whatever is your background and not only confined to hinduism your whatever religion it is not confined to one time it was 5000 years back it was applicable it is apply relevant now it will be relevant tomorrow and it's as long as the humanity is there this message is a universal message eternal message has come out from the lord himself and it's a for upasana also for learning also for chanting also as a nitya parayana every day as a um, you are offering to the lord you can do every day chant this mantra because it has come from the lord lord's song of the lord you are trying to sing you are singing the lord lord's song 
every day uh, you are trying to sing every day as a pa- nitya parayana every day you can read one shloka two shloka why with utmost reverence because it has come from the lord himself you are learning the bhagavad gita whatever it's your uh, mode of life whatever is your background it is it is relevant for you thus far and uh, we touched upon the six uh, chapters of bhagavad gita as i said i cannot say that we completed and we just uh, touched upon the six chapters like uh, chapter 6 on meditation and uh, last year we touched upon uh, the 13th chapter 12th chapter uh, 15th uh, uh, 16th and 17th chapter so far six chapters we have completed and today we will uh, start on a um, the, the the preamble preamble of bhagavad gita preamble means uh, the summary in nutshell what you are going to learn in bhagavad gita that chapter is chapter number 2 chapter number 2 it's a summary in a nutshell bhagavad gita condensed it is in chapter 2 head chapter 2 in the last shloka of uh, chapter 1 chapter 1 um, the arjuna arjuna he was uh, initially he was very arrogant and he was very proud of his accomplishments he was proud of his strength and and he directed uh, shri krishna thinking that he was a charioteer he was a driver is uh, uh, and he directed him take me take me there who dares to fight with me and shri krishna he wanted to uh, show him the lesson when you are so powerful when everything goes according to whatever you think then we become arrogant so is arjuna and uh, deliberately he placed the chariot in front of the relatives closest relatives like teacher dronacharya or grandfather bhishma acharya kripa acharya his friends now earlier he was th- show- seeing everyone as an enemy and now his psychology has changed all of a sudden he sees everyone as a relative my grandfather my teacher my uncle everyone now all of a sudden because of the psychology and he starts seeing everyone as a uh, relative and he started telling uh, uh, shri krishna my mouth is parching my skin is burning and i can't stand my ghandi voice shaking i can't fight and killing these people it is a heinous crime for a piece of land we are killing so many people how ridiculous for me a piece of uh, begging is better than fighting the war and and he made a, 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 a nice argument but you have, you cannot read bhagavad gita in that current situation you have to see the background so much of injustice have had been meted on to pandavas and uh, kauravas were uh, ruthlessly ruling with uh, um, the uh, it's a no justice in the country they are looting people and uh, abusing people and pandavas prepared well for the war now at the time of like i am writing an exam and i prepared so much i uh, uh, it's a midnight lamp i was burning so many days so many months it's a exam time i started telling my parents what is the need of writing the exam what is a, what if I, if i get more marks who wants the job i am happy where i am and it's a why go and write and my job if i get a good job i am taking others jobs also let poor people take that job why i need i will be happy whatever i have if required i will go and beg uh, go start begging it is like that argument i prepared so much the last minute 
ఐ ఫిజల్ అవుట్ అండ్ దట్ సిచ్యువేషన్ అండ్ అర్జున సేస్ ఇన్ ద లాస్ట్ ఐ వోంట్ ఫైట్ అండ్ హీ కొలాక్స్ ఆన్ ద చారియట్ చారియట్ నవ్ ద సంజయ సంజయ స్టార్ట్స్ దిస్ వన్ సంజయ హీ వాస్ చైల్డ్హుడ్ ఫ్రెండ్ ఆఫ్ హిస్ దుర్యోధన ఫాదర్ ధృతరాష్ట్ర చైల్డ్హుడ్ ఫ్రెండ్ చైల్డ్హుడ్ చారియేటర్ సంజయ ఇస్ ఫ్రమ్ చారియేటర్ క్లాస్ అండ్ సంజయస్ ఫాదర్ అండ్ రాధేయ దిస్ కర్ణాస్ ఫాదర్ దే వర్ బోత్ ఆర్ బోత్ వర్ చారియేటర్స్ అండ్ దే వర్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఫ్రమ్ దేర్ సంజయ వాస్ చైల్డ్హుడ్ ఫ్రెండ్ ట్రస్ట్ వర్తి ఫ్రెండ్ అండ్ వెరీ నోబల్ పర్సన్ బట్ that uh, um, in the uh, it's uh, yeah, in the in the war time the uh, veda vyasa went to duryodhana i advised you many times you did not heed to my advice now look at the television i will give you the power sitting in the palace you was a blind ki- blind king you are sitting in the palace i will give you a, a clairvoyance and uh, cl- it's uh, from uh, sitting here though you are blind i will bless you to see what is happening and he was said i don't want to see this one and he was in the heart he was agitated he did injustice to pandavas i don't want that one let sanjaya be blessed with that one give that power to sanjaya let him give the running commentary let him tell me what is happening i want to hear i don't want to see i don't want to see my children are being killed and sanjaya sanjaya uh, uh, was blessed with that power that uh, vedavyasa gave that power and from here he could able to see and sanjaya was a very pious person and despite being pious and at the end of the war because of the our prarabdha karma in uh, uh, duryodhana's thigh was broken and he was on the about to depart he was kicked the bucket bhima bhima sena broke his uh, thigh bones and he was on the ground and he was suffering great suffering he was going through but still he had no regret and seeing that one sanjaya took pity and when nobody was there he quietly went to duryodhana any last message you want to say can i do anything for you can i do anything now i know you are helpless i can do something for you tell me and duryodhana he said i don't want pandavas to leave what you do you convey this message my message take a revenge against pandavas take a revenge against shri krishna convey this message to my friend charvaka you go and tell him that that how i am suffering and tell him ask him to take a revenge and he went to charvaka charvaka and he charvaka was the one who again he is against all scriptures and it's a, uh, there is no sanctity in the scriptures it's a, it's not real what you see is only that one what you see you believe beyond that one beyond this world nothing is there he conveyed this message to charvaka and charvaka and charvaka and um, where, uh, after pandavas uh, duryo uh, yudhishthira became the king charvaka as a um, educated person as a swami he came there and he started shri krishna was there in the assembly he started chiding aren't you ashamed of what you had done you have done such a injustice to this uh, country and it is not me saying all the learned people in this country are saying that you did a heinous crime for a piece of land you killed so many people every learned people all the brahmanas all rishis are criticizing you that you did a heinous crime and 
it is no point in you living and i am ashamed that you are our king and hearing that one duryo idhishthira very soft person he got more agitated inside he was very sad that so many of his relatives were killed now this monk has come charvaka in the guise of a monk and he started saying that one and then uh, um, the, he start got so agitated did i do wrong for a piece of land did i do wrong did i do wrong and he then uh, um, uh, asked uh, shri krishna and um, veda vyasa was there they said no you did not do anything wrong then he saying that all brahmanas are criticizing all rishis are criticizing all brahmanas were there and they said to charvaka we never said that one you are making it up and when um, charvaka he protested these brahmanas they said they killed him by the hunkara just by uttering hunkara they killed uh, the, uh, that charvaka they he dro- it got dropped dead there itself but his message his thoughts charvaka's uh, messages are still prevalent many people they um, they follow his uh, tradition what i see i believe what i can't see i can't believe in the name of uh, there is no life after uh, the, after death you t- uh, take a loan you borrow from people and enjoy the life you need not have to worry about paying it back life is meant for enjoy you buy beg uh, borrow or steal doesn't matter you have to enjoy the life that was the philosophy of charvaka and duryodhana wanted to propagate that message a conduit for that one was sanjaya though he was a very uh, nice uh, very good noble person because his prarabdha karma at the end of the war he wanted to do favor to duryodhana and that is the uh, the story uh, the mahabharata from the beginning beginning this is the uh, sanjay is here at the end of the war how the sanjay sanjay what happened uh, how he sided with the duryodhana i just um, uh, told in uh, nutshell uh, to understand the story that uh, not to see the story only one a small bit you had to see from a bigger bigger picture when you start seeing the things in bigger picture you understand why it is happening and many things we don't understand in our life we start blaming the god we say we see the things only in a small uh, 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 the start date and finish date we don't see before we don't we don't know what is happening after when you see the bigger picture supreme lord he can see the past present and the future and he is not partial to anyone we are going through what we aspired for that is the message and this second chapter also especially uh, uh, it's a parayana it's a memorized and said at the time of uh, if anyone has died at home home also people they do all 18 chapter parayana if you can't do all 18 chapter uh, second chapter you ch- chant the second chapter of bhagavad gita and uh, second chapter it gives the morality you are uh, boosts up your um, the morality when you are so down seeing your near and de- dear one has died how to boost up your um, m- memory is so your morale boost of your uh, morale and uh, like uh, the body is uh, transitory soul is permanent think of that one and nainam chindanti shastrani nainam dahati pavaka na chainam kledayantyapo na shoshayati marutah when my uh, dear father died um, in the Uh, the when uh, the, i was uh, lighting up the funeral pyre 
my elder brother was also there when I was lighting up. And that mantra, that shloka, it is in second chapter. It came to me naturally. And Nainam Chindanti Shastra, and when I am lighting up the fire, and the, this soul is eternal, fire cannot burn it, and uh, air cannot uh, dry it, water cannot wet it, uh, weapon cannot cleave it. Eternal, eternal. Why grieve? Why grieve when its indestructible is there? Just like a person changing the cloth. I change the cloth, it has become old. I threw the old cloth, I put on the new one. I should be happy to wear the new cloth. When the old cloth has worn out, when my body has worn out like a old cloth and putting on a new cloth, new body, is it not a great occasion? Why grieve? And so lofty shlokas are there. And when somebody dies and think that uh, they are putting on a new cloth. This cloth is so old. Uh, my car has become so old, I am buying a new car. So that I can continue the journey well. My car, so uh, old car, it is uh, breaking down every uh, 100 kilometers, it's breaking down. My life is spent only on repairing the uh, car. Instead of that one, if I have another car, new car, my journey will be smooth. And body has become so old. And why still? And it is good that it is uh, that person is getting a new body. So that that person can continue. Otherwise, old person, he or she cannot do anything. What is the use? Cannot do. Mind wants to do many things, but body is not willing. And it's uh, this chapter. It's a very um, uh, lofty uh, chapter with the lofty shlokas. And it's an inspiration for all of us. And uh, try to memorize. Memorize um, uh, this chapter as we go along. S uh, s uh, repeat after me. Sanjay Uvacha. Sanjay Uvacha. Tam Tata. Tam Tata. Kripaya. Kripaya. Avishta. Avishta. Ashrupurna. Ashrupurna. Kulekshanam. Kulekshanam. Vishidanta. Vishidanta. Idam. Vakyam, idam vakyam, uvacha, uvacha, madhusudanaha, madhusudanaha. Arjuna was, had collapsed on the chariot and he said, I don't want to fight. Now, Kripaya Vishta and the, uh, the Arjuna got overpowered by the sorrow. Kripaya Vishta, Avishta. He was overpowered by sorrow and full of Ashru Purna, eyes full of tears. Ashru, Ashru means uh, tears, Purna means full of tears in the eyes and full of sorrow within. Kulekshanam, Tam Tata Kripaya Vishta and, and, um, uh, and um, uh, Kulekshanam Vishidanta so vishidanta so sorrow so depressed in life uva idam vakyam madusud uva cha madusudana uva cha idam vakyam madusudana nectar like talk lord shri krishna start talking and Madhusudana also is a destroyer of a demon called Madhu and also Madhusudana nectar. Madhu means nectar. Nectar like talk. Lord gave one who is depressed. We also are depressed. Many times we go into depression. What is the point? What is the point? Why? Why you have to do? What is the point in living? And we go into depression. Though we have tremendous potential in every one of us, we go into Kripaya Vishta, we go into sorrow. We see in the yoga retreat also I mentioned, my world shrinks when my, I am so sorrow in my life. My world shrinks 
and at times world becomes everyone becomes an enemy i hate everyone i hate myself and to the point many people commit suicide because so sorrow i see no friend in this world my world has shrink shrunk and for that person for to prop up to motivate inspire the people lord is talking and they were talking about uh, since the beginning of uh, covid across the world they say and in japan also across the world in especially in japan more people have died uh, out of suicide than from corona than from corona this thinking of corona itself many people have gone into depression and they have committed suicide in uh, germany one minister himself he committed suicide this corona thinking of this one he went into deep depression and he committed suicide and more people this uh, mental health is a biggest uh, another epidemic B- um, bigger than they think it's bigger than uh, corona epidemic and most of us are going through that one and that go into depression what will motivate us only hope is padmanabhasya mukha swayam and uh, it's a vinisrutam the one which has come from the mouth of the padmanabha from the lotus mouth of the lord that alone can help us come out of the depression so much of negativity is around so many people are uh, uh, affected and dejected lost hope only lord's words are the hope for us shri bhagavan vacha shri bhagavan vacha kutastva kutastva kashmala kashmala idam idam vishame vishame samupasthitam samupasthitam anarya anarya jushta jushta aswargyam aswargyam akirti akirti karam arjuna karam arjuna kutastva kashmala idam kutastva kashmala idam vishame samupasthitam vishame samupasthitam anarya jushta aswargyam anarya jushta aswargyam akirti karam arjuna akirti karam arjuna kutastva kuta 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 means from where kutastva kashmala this impurity uh, idam vishame poisonous impurity poison like impurity has come into your mind like we also depressed in our life shri krishna is addressing all of us through arjuna from where this impurity poison like impurity has entered your mind kashmala idam samupasthitam it doesn't behold of you you have a hu- tremendous potential tremendous ability you have done marvelous things in your life in the past now anarya you are like a, it's a, a anarya jushta aswargyam this thinking like anarya not like a great person you are talking like a the, the uh, coward anarya anarya means like a coward the arjuna was arya means like a kingly clan and from that you are a coward talking like a coward aswargya you will get it is not it won't take you to the higher world aswargya akirti it will bring in bad name to you so much you have achieved in the past the way in which you are talking now it will bring bad name to you it won't give you any better world after aswargyam akirti karam arjuna from where this poisonous thinking has entered your mind klaibhyamma klaibhyamma smagama smagama partha artha naitat naitat tayupa padyate tayupa padyate kshudram kshudram hrudaya hrudaya daurbalyam daurbalyam tyakto tyakto uttishta uttishta parantapa parantapa uttishta 
in Bhagavad Gita, Shri Krishna asks all of us to get up. Not uh, uh, once, twice, third, four times. In the um, Katopanishad, it uh, t- talks about Uttishtata Jagrata Prapyavara Nibodata Kshurasyadara Nishitam Duratheya Durgham Pata Tatkavayo Vadanti And Katopanishad talks about Uttishtata, get up! And here also, Uttishta, get up! Not to talk like a important. Klaibhyam, Klaibhyam means talking like an important. And weak-hearted person, Klaibhyam ma, ma means no. Klaibhyam means like a important. Smagama partha, thayu papadhyate. The weak-hearted, it is not talking to Arjuna that you have a heart condition. He is saying that, shake off your weak-heartedness. You have become so, um, it's a, a, like a coward, talking like a coward. You are supposed to be a, like lion-hearted. Now you have become a weak-hearted. Kshudram, prudaya dhorbhalyam, tyakta. Shake off the weak-heartedness. Uttishta, get up. Shake off and in one go, he shook off Arjuna. Arjuna was expecting some compassion. He was thinking that Arjuna, Shri Krishna, his charioteer will say what you say is right. Yes, let us go home. He was thinking Arj- Shri Krishna will take him home and uh, um, so that um, they will rest in the home. He thought Arjuna, Shri Krishna will uh, agree with his argument. Instead, Shri Krishna shook him off. Where this poison has come? You are talking like a important. You have done such a marvelous things in your past. Now, don't talk like that. Get up! You are, get up. And Arjuna is uh, asked the question. Then, then uh, it's uh, when he shook off, out of, uh, he got, uh, um, uh, it's uh, uh, surprised with uh, Arjuna, uh, Shri Krishna's, uh, the, the strong words, then he wanted to counter argue. Arjuna Vacha Arjuna Vacha Katam Katam Bhishma Bhishma Aham Aham Sankhe Sankhe Dronam Dronam Cha Cha Madhusudana Madhusudana Ishubi Ishubi Pratiyotsyami Pratiyotsyami Pujarha Pujarha Arisudana Arisudana Arisudana. Arisudana means uh, um, the, the one who kills. Ari, Ari means uh, enemy. Enemy, what uh, Sudana means one who tortures the enemies. Oh, Madhusudana, you destroy all the enemies, all the negative people. How you are talking about you destroying everyone, you are destroying all the negative people, but in front of me are good people. You are destroying the negative people. How can I point my arrow, it should be my arrow to the noble people like Bhishmacharya, Dronacharya, they are worth worship. They are worth revering. You know you destroy all the negative people. But these are not negative people. They are the great people. My teacher, my Bhishmacharya, my grandfather, uh, that great grandfather, they are worth worshipping. How can I fight against them? Guru Nahatva, again, Katam Bhishma Aham Sankhe Katam Bhishma Aham Sankhe Dronancha Madhusudana Dronancha Madhusudana Ishubhi Pratiyotsyami Ishubhi Pratiyotsyami Pujarha Arisudana Pujarha Arisudana Guru Nahatva Guru Nahatva He He Mahanubhavan Shreyo, Shreyo, Bhoktum, Bhoktum, 
ಅಗೇನ್ ಗುರು ನಿ ಮಹಾನುಭಾವನ್ ಗುರು ನಿ ಮಹಾನುಭಾವನ್ ಶ್ರೇಯೋ ಭೋಂಕ್ತ ದಿಸ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಒನ್ ಹೆಡ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಟೂ ಲೆಟರ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅನುಷ್ಟುಪ್ ಚಂದಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಲೆಟರ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಾನ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ತ್ರಿಸ್ಟುಪ್ ಚಂದಸ್ ದ ಮೀಟರ್ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸೇ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಲೆಟರ್ಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸೇ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಲೆಟರ್ಸ್ ಎಟ್ ಎ ಟೈಮ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ಸ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ಸ್ ಎಟ್ ಎ ಟೈಮ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ಸ್ ಎಟ್ ಎ ಟೈಮ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಟು ಏಟ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ಸ್ ಎಟ್ ಎ ಟೈಮ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ಸ್ ಎಟ್ ಎ ಟೈಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಪದ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ಸ್ ಮೀಟರ್ ಗುರು ನ ಹಿ ಮಹಾನುಭಾವನ್ ಶ್ರೇಯೋ ಭೋಕ್ತು ಭೈಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಹಲೋಕೆ ಕಿಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ದ ಗುರು ಮಹಾನುಭಾವನ್ ಸೋ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಗುರು ಶ್ರೇಯೋ ಭೋಕ್ತು ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಿಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಒನ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ಈಸ್ begging begging be, uh, holding the begging bowl and begging is better hatvartha kamas tu guru ne heiva out of greed killing that one bunjiya bhogan rudira pradigdhan when the blood everywhere how can i enjoy my life and killing the guru and it uh, sounds to be very convincing convincing when the when the mind mind finds always some excuse some excuse it finds itself when we organize the yoga retreat many people found the excuse it's a weekend it's a we get weekend only once a week how can we come it is a cold morning i heard weather forecast i i heard it's a cold morning how can i come it is not can we can't we do a yoga retreat in summer mind plays the game finds all excuses why not to do why not to do when you are embarking on a great things if somebody ask you to do the great things i asked our teachers to contribute for the newsletter many teachers they said they are busy they are busy it can, can we do it for the next one i will do it next next time sir this time i'm bit busy and uh, last time also they told the same next time we will do and we don't want to do mind finds an excuse when i want to embark on higher things it finds excuse arjuna did not he knows his guru is sided with the wrong people fighting for uh, injustice his guru is fighting for injustice whereas krishna says fight for justice good for and in the drona charya drona charya bishma charya they know it is wrong but still out of the attachment for the piece of meal he was duryodhana was throwing at them he was he sided with them and arjuna was only taking his point of view he did not want to see the other point of view when arguing he was making a very convincing argument many commentators many uh, swamis also they talk about this one arjuna had a great point i think uh, shri krishna was wrong he shri krishna pushed arjuna into war he should not have done because these great swamis and uh, monks they read bhagavad gita only in a, 
one leaf that's fragment they haven't read they seen the story before bhagavad gita they haven't seen the story after bhagavad gita only small piece they take and come to conclusion that is the problem with most of us we read one sentence here and there and we start commenting on the whole text we don't know what is before what is after we jump into conclusion taking one sentence one sentence you have to see before and after na chaita na chaita idma idma kataran nagariyo kataran nagariyo yudva yadva jayema jayema yadiva yadiva no no jay jayeyuhu jayeyuhu yaneva yaneva hatva hatva na na jiji vishama jiji vishama ste ste avastita avastita pramukhe pramukhe datra rashtra datra rashtra and uh, uh, it's a uh, now arjuna submits i am totally confused whether we should win or let them win i am totally confused i don't see the i see i don't know whether we should uh, win the war or they we should let them to win the war and stay avastita pramukhe datra rashtra ha whether we should allow them to win slowly arjuna is revealing his confusion should we let them win or should we win na chaitadma kataran nagariyo na chaitadvitman kataran nagariyo yadva jayema yadivano jayeyu yadva jayema yadivano jayeyu yane vahatva na jiji vishama yane ಸ್ಥಿತ they these people avastita pramukhe datrashtra many people have assembled on kaurava side datrashtra side and i am totally com- co- confused karpanya dosha karpanya dosha apahata apahata swabhava swabhava pruchami tvam pruchami tvam dharma dharma asammuda asammuda cheta ha cheta ha yashreya yashreya sya sya nischitam nischitam bruhitan me bruhitan me shishyaste shishyaste aham aham shadimam shadimam tvam tvam prapannam prapannam karpanya kripana pitiyabal situation karpanya dosha he arjuna went into kripana pitiable situation dosha apahata his original nature was overtaken by a pitiable situation his original nature is covered with a pitiable situation with sorrow and with that one prichami tvam i am asking you i am beseeching you i am requesting you in the first chapter he was arrogant take my chariot here he was confused i am requesting you bruhi tarme tvam dharma asam mooda cheta ha and what is yashreya shreya what is good for me convincingly conclusively nischitam con- conclusively bruhi tell me i am shishya te you aham i am 
thy disciple. He did not say, you are my guru, tell me. And when I say, you are my guru, tell me, there is an arrogance. Here, total submit. He positions himself lower. I am your disciple. Please tell me what is good. Conclusively say. He did not say, you are my guru, tell me. It is your job. And he did not direct. Instead, please enlighten me. I am requesting you. I am your disciple. Please tell me. Until Arjuna submits himself completely to the Lord. I am your disciple. Shri Krishna did not start Bhagavad Gita. His Bhagavad Gita Mukha Padma Vinisritam Padmanabhasya Mukha Padma Vinisritam and Padmanabhasya Swayam Mukha Padma Vinisritam the beautiful lotus like words starts flowing when Arjuna submitted himself completely. In our life also, when you approach a leader, a teacher, it says, when you approach a teacher, how you should be, submit. Not out of arrogance, you can show off your money, property and wealth. It's, it's, your wealth won't buy that one. Your position, it won't buy that one. Only the humility, only the surrender, only the, it's a complete surrender. To the teacher, the teacher will bestow, deliver this one. It's a Bhagavad Gita did not start until this time Arjuna surrenders completely. I am your disciple. Tell me what is good for me. Conclusively tell me, I am totally confused. Karpanya dosha pahata swabhava Karpanya dosha pahata svabhava Prichami tvam dharma asamuda cheta Prichami tvam dharma asamuda cheta Yashreyasya nishchitam bruhitan me Yashreyasya nishchitam bruhitan me Shishyaste aham shadi mam tvam prapannam Shishyaste aham shadi mam tvam prapannam Nahi prapashyami Nahi prapashyami Mama, Mama, pa, Mama, Panudya, Mama, Panudya, Echo, Echo, Kamu, Choshana, Echo, Kamu, Choshana, Indriana, Indriana, Avapya, Avapya, Huma, Huma, Vasapatma, Mrudham, Vasapatna, Mrudham, Rajyam, Surana, Mapi, Rajyam, Surana, Chadipatyam. Chadipatyam. And it's, um, uh, it's uh, when surrendered and he said even the kingship, rulership over the heaven also that um, uh, I won't find peace. And this, my senses, senses are outer control and it's, um, uh, I can't find a solution. You want a rulership over the heaven, it won't find peace. Only you can guide me. I am totally confused. Nahi prapashyami mama nupadya. Nahi prapashyami mama panudya. Echo kamachoshanam indriyanam. Echo kamachoshanam indriyanam. Avapya bhuma vasapatma mridham. Avapya bhuma vasapatna mridham. Rajyam suranam apichadi patyam. Rajyam suranam apichadi patyam. Sanjayu vacha. Sanjayu vacha. Eva muktva. Eva muktva. Rishi kesha. Rishi kesha. Guda kesha. Guda kesha. Parantapa. Parantapa. Nayotsya. Nayotsya. Iti govinda. Iti govinda. Uktva. Uktva. Tushnim. Tushnim. Babuva. 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 And 
when addressed arjuna sanjaya says when asked thus arjuna was totally under stress depressed confused and eyes filled with tears seeing his pitiable condition lord spoke as if smiling tushni uktva tushni babuvaham as if smiling he delivered bhagavad gita no tension in lord's face as if he was smiling eva muktva evam uktva hrishi kesham guda kesha hrishi ka isha and uh, we say in uh, north india that hrishi uh, rishi kesh it is not rishi kesh it should be hrishi kesh hrishaka isha wa hrishi hrishaka isha lord of the senses hrishika isha it's not rishi kesh it should be rishi kesh the rishi kesha guda kesha guda kesha one who has conquered the sleep guda kesha one who has a lovely hair is called as um, the guda ka isha guda kesha guda ka isha guda ka isha one has no sign of tamas always uh, it's uh, alert always positive it's not guda ka guda ka isha guda ka means sleep sign of tamasik it's one who has beyond the tamas no sleep conquered the sleep parantapa one who can destroyer of all enemies nobody can it's a, it's a stand in front of him na yotsya iti govinda govinda uktva tushni babuvaham and govinda supreme lord as if ga govinda it's a one it's a looks after the cows Govinda go means Veda one who is reveled in Vedas is called Govinda go go means uh, water one who resides in the water uh, it's a uh, uh, one uh, kshira sagara when everything has gone what remains is Govinda and go go means earth one who is the lord of the earth and in the bhagavatam it talks about earth the physical earth what we see it is not only that one there are earth earth extends beyond what our eyes can see in the physical plane our senses can see only little and the the earth extends beyond the physical frame like in uh, yoga retreat i showed demonstrated on the aura aura extends beyond the physical frame so is the 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 earth extends beyond the physical earth it's not only the physical earth what we see the globe beyond that one also extends and the sages many sages divine beings are residing in that one the time to time they come and go back to the they hide themselves and they say in himalayas also there is called as uh, badrikashrama badrikashrama is there it is mentioned many times uh, in the scriptures also veda vyasa is still there badrikashrama in the shastras it is uh, talking about in madhva vijaya madhva charya he left is uh, he disappeared from udupi and he is still there in badrikashrama and uh, swami rama swami rama he trekked to from badri to tibet he walked by road and he also mentioned about the place in the on the way this uh, veda that badrikashrama is there it is not visible to ordinary eyes swami rama also is mentioned about that one and swami rama also mentioned in himalayas we see only the mountains rocks and uh, clay on the mountain and swami rama also mentions in the himalayas so much of gold is there your eyes cannot see unless divine beings wants to reveal it to you it won't be seen and he uh, swami rama he picked up a lump of gold and he gave it to one of his disciples also to prove it 
it is the what we see in the physical eye it is not the only the physical uh, 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 it's uh, not the earth beyond that one sometimes many times when we walk past if somebody goes past we say sorry we did not see though our eyes are open we did not notice many things divine beings can hide it in front of you they may be right in front of you they may not reveal it to you and they, if they want they can reveal it to you and not to confine ourselves only to intellectual argument do not confine yourself to your intellectual argument tomorrow i will touch upon that one beyond that one beyond the intellect there is something which has to be experienced through sadhana this uh, the last one i will quickly touch upon and i will rehash on that one next week tamu vacha tamu vacha rishi kesha rishi kesha prahasanniv bharata prahasanniv bharata and senayor um, bayor madhye ಅರ್ಜುನ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಸೈಲೆಂಟ್ and previously he said i am thy disciple please guide me and he says and you are the it's a rishi you are the the, the most uh, your omnipotent guda kesha and rishi kesha uh, i can't na yotsya i can't fight the battle uktva tushni Tushni means silent. He became silent. Hearing that one Lord says, Tamu Vacha, Tamu Vacha, uh, Rishi Kesha. Hearing that one Rishi Kesha, Prahasanniva Bharata, Prahasanniva. As if smiling Bharata. And he addressed that one. and um, uh, 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 bhar- bharata prahasanniva bharata and he is uh, sanjaya is telling the dhritarashtra bharata you are from the bharata family now lord has spoken like this Pra- prahasanniva as if smiling without any tension lord is talking senaya senayo ubhayo madhye ವಿಷೀದಂತ ಇದಂ ವಚ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಟಾಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿಷೀದಂತ ಹಿ ಸೇನಯೋರ್ ಉಭಯೋರ್ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಸೈಡ್ಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಂಡವ ಸೈಡ್ ಆರ್ ಕೌರವ ಸೈಡ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅನಲೈಸ್ the moment you take a side your judgment will be clouded you see only one point of view shri krishna he placed himself between the pandava and kaurava i am not siding any side any any side you take you have to come to the center and analyze the moment you take a side you start seeing your teacher as you are uh, uh, siding with the enemies as a great uh, worshipful people uh, all the even duryodhana he started seeing as a cousin and when you start taking side your intellect gets clouded you come to the center tamu vacha rishi kesha prahasanniva bharata as if smiling lord spoke coming to the center the message the today's message today's class message you come to the center come to the center before taking getting carried away by arguing arguing my religion says that one my uh, text says that one my fa- family tradition is that one not to side with that one try to come to the center and analyze then only you can understand the shastras otherwise you become very fanatic 
my religion says this one my uh, family tradition is this one that one is that one i don't want to hear other point of view what shri krishna says you have to go beyond the constraints of siding on one side come to the center and understand he is a senayor ubayor madhye in our life also when you are understanding when you are reading the commentaries when you are reading the text when you are reading the shastras come to the center not come come with preconceived idea i know better than the teacher what teacher knows come to the center with a open mind open heart try to absorb the new idea new dimension then only it will go otherwise if i sit with a preconceived idea however great is the teacher nothing will go in shri krishna's message come to the center open minded and when you sit there you will start the seeing the new dimension again sanjay vacha sanjay vacha tam tata kripaya vishta tam tata kripaya vishta ashru purna kulekshanam ashru purna kulekshanam vishidanta idam vakyam vishidanta idam vakyam vacha madhusudana vacha madhusudana shri bhagavanu vacha shri bhagavanu vacha ಅನಾರ್ಯಜುಷ್ಟಸ್ವರ್ಗ್ಯೋಪದ್ಯತೆ ೀಷ್ಮಸೂದನಾಶುಭಿ ಭೋಗನ್ ರುದಿರ ಪ್ರದಿಗ್ಧಾನ್ ಜೀಯ ಭೋಗನ್ ರುದಿರ ಪ್ರದಿಗ್ಧಾನ್ ಚೈತದ್ಮ ಕತರನ್ನು ಗರಿಯೋ ಚೈತದ್ವಿಗ್ಮನ್ ಕತರನ್ನು ಗರಿಯೋ ಚೈತದ್ವಿಗ್ಮ ಕತರನ್ನು ಗರಿಯೋ ಚೈತದ್ವಿಗ್ಮ ಕತರನ್ನು ಗರಿಯೋ ಯದ್ವಾ ಜಯೇಮ ಯದಿವಾನೋ ಜಯೇಯೋ ಯದ್ವಾ ಜಯೇಮ ಯದಿವಾನೋ ಜಯೇಯೋ ಯಾನೇವ ಹತ್ವಾನ ಜಿಜೀವಿಷಾಮ ಶ್ರೇಯಸ್ಯಶ್ಚಿತ ಶ್ರೇಯಸ್ಯಶ್ಚಿತೋಷಣಮಿಂದ್ರಿಯಾಪ್ಯ ಭೂಮಾವಸಪತ್ಮೃಧಂ ಅವಾಪ್ಯ ಭೂಮಾವಸಪತ್ಮೃಧಂ ರಾಜ್ಯ ಸುರಾಣಿ ಪತ್ಯ 
ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಂದೇ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಂದೇ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು